Shalom, brothers and sisters. All praises to Yahuwah, our Heavenly Father. My name is Brother Kuya, and I want to thank everybody for coming in today, tuning in. So we can go over this calendar for the second month. Um, I noticed, and pretty much every, a lot of people are still celebrating um, Sabbath day on Sunday. Saturdays, but I'm telling you now, it is very dangerous because Yah has put the moon out there for us to go by and to use to celebrate his feast days and his Sabbath days. So I racked my brain back here about a year ago to learn how to do this. And since then, I want to share it with the world. Everybody that want to know and want to learn, I want to share it. Um, so. What you can do to start off, if you feel your first time coming here, you can download one of these calendars or a calendar from calendarlabs.com. And if you're returning here for the, you know, if you've been here before, been farming for the last few months, um, you know, we normally get the calendar from the previous month and we get the blank calendar and we, you know, flow, come out one month and go right into the next month. All right. So. Let's get started. Now, normally, what we do is we get, um, we have two weeks here sometime. Here to move up top. But since um, the transition week was in the last week of this month here, we're only going to put one week up top right here and then we're gonna start run our month you understand just one week because see this right here is the same month this week so this week here the last week of this calendar from your previous calendar we can move that up to week one in your blank calendar see we got uh the new moon starts here on that on that um monday so just take that Move it up to number one, up to the first line of your blank calendar. All right, okay, we can see now that um, new moon, the, the new moon come out that Sunday night, okay? Sunday night, which was day 30 for us. All right, that's the red, that was the, there was that red right here that was the first month so there was 30 days in that month all right so when it comes out in the evening it's called start the evening boom the next day is your um new moon day okay all right so that's day one it is not a working day this is a day of feast this is a feast day also new moon day is a feast day so that's why we have to make sure that we learn um how to count our days and know when to spot the new moon all right so here then you can work um uh, six days one two three four five six and then your seventh day is going to be here on your you know right up under the new moon day okay so new moon comes out in the evening the little crescent moon right here the little crescent you see a little bit just for a few minutes, when the sun start going down, that starts your new month. That's when you go get your chauffeur and you blow your chauffeur. The next day is a feast day. All right, this is the day of feast. Is you celebrating your new month? Are right, you see how our days are lining up so far? It's very simple. Once you spot your new moon, all right. That day, you spot your new moon here. The, that morning, the evening, which is the evening in the morning, all right, that right there is day one. All right, so that whole day until that evening is new moon day. The evening starts your work day week. So there'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? All right, and it's going to line up like that every, every, um, for four Sabbaths. It's going to line up there like for four Sabbaths. Then transition starts. 
it's it's not hard at all. I got it lined up, um, labeled what these colors stand for and the numbers also. Okay, so um, it's it, it's not hard. Don't overthink it. Just don't overthink it. Your Sabbath day is not going to be on Saturdays all the time. It's not going to be on Sundays all the time. That's the best point I'm trying to make now. It's going to change every month. Every 29 to 30 days, it's going to change. Sometime it'll be the next day. Sometime it might be on Tuesday. Sometime it might skip a day, be on Wednesday. But don't overthink it. Just use this calendar right here. Then, then you can start counting yourself. You don't need a calendar. But I normally use it to call because I don't want to throw nobody off. Um, because I learned it and see it might be confusing somebody else, but I try to simplify it the best way I can. All right, so let's let's see what I got right here, and then we can we can go on and see how we can go. All right, we got our third week here, and you notice we have um a full moon on our third week because out on your second sabbath is always a full moon this is when your moon is at its brightest this is this determines on uh, our feast days um uh, most of our feast day feast of unleavened bread passover feast of tabernacles this uh full moon determines a lot of that all right so make we so we got to make sure that we count our day we can't just look at the days and just look at them and um and just look for or uh, and see look for a new moon because full moon because you may have three or four moons that's gonna look the same way so that's why it's very important that you count the days these calendars is something to help keep you keep you in line you still have to go out there every month and look at it and see it. that's how we make our determinations if we are still right and if we are um you know we got the correct on um, days and all because we have to look and spot it i might be off two days that's why i'm i'll try i try to make these calendars every month so people can learn and check behind me because this is a lot of work and sometimes my computer get to acting crazy and all it'll take me all day just to make just to put the numbers in and they don't count on putting in the um the the, the uh the, the the names and the letters and stuff then you know so it's a lot of work behind it but it's worth it for y'all i do it for y'all i want to make sure i'll be on point every month you know so anyway uh we have the full moon this week so we had one two three four five six seven sabbath day full moon sabbath day the, the full moon gonna come in the evening on the sixth working day so the next day is gonna be a sabbath day it's Sabbath day and full moon day. All can come in line, all right? So you see what I'm talking about right here? How these days look so so much alike. Right here, they're very close. It's hard to tell from the naked eye if they're looking up in the sky. That's why you have to count your days from your spotting of your renewed moon. That'll be this day. This day here will be your new moon day. And then you got to count. 15 days and the evening of the 14th day is the moon is your brightest and the next day will be your full moon day okay see how close they are that's why you have to count them count them all right on this slide here um nothing special just come out of your other work week go right into this week right into this one y'all you have your Sabbath day lining up, and okay, after you have your Sabbath day, then you have work six more working days to come back down. So, nothing special here. This week is gonna be a little different because we have uh, uh, we can transition from one month to another one. And we did the same thing up here. I didn't mention it either. We came out of March into April. You see what I have the blue at and the yellow. Okay, it came out right out of one and went right into another one. Okay, this is the same thing going to do down here, but we we're doing it on the lunar month, the Yahoo's calendar. Okay, it's going to be the same thing. You see what I have the black day 30, then you got the gray, 
This can start the third month right here. So make sure that we spot this moon right here first. You can start on day 29. You know, I could be off a day here and there. So far, I've been pretty good. <laughs> Praise y'all. But I could be off a day. And if you know, if I'm off a day or two, I always can I always can adjust the calendar before I, I turn it loose. But um make sure that we spot the new moon, then we start out count for our third month right here, new moon day. That's the same day. You do the same thing this day, you're doing this one. You 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 start a, you have your feast. There's, these are feast days. You feed, you're having a feast for the for the um for the new for the new month, renewed moon. And then you just start counting your after that, your feast day. The next day, you go back to work. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you see right here, this right here, your Sabbath day is gonna change. It's gonna be right here this time. Because your new moon determines the moon determines your Sabbath and feast days. These are feast days. Sabbath days are feast days. New moon days are feast days. So the moon determines your feast. Okay. All right. Um, now we have our new moon day and four Sabbaths here. One, two, three, four Sabbaths. All right, and we also have a uh, new moon day here, and this week transition over new moon day, and we have one Sabbath here. Now, uh, on the last calendar, if you got your calendar from the previous month, look at it. All right, the last day, I think the 29th was on, I don't even have mine out myself. Hold on a second. Uh, I think the 29th, was on that that uh Saturday. Alright, so you know how they say we count for the uh, feast of weeks, right? So what you do, you count from the, the 13th, from Saturday the 13th, or either day 29, depending on how you're doing it. Alright, and then you count that Sabbath. That's one Sabbath, right? One Sabbath. Then you come over here, the second week, you got two, three, four, five Sabbaths right here. So you got your five Sabbaths. We got to get to seven Sabbaths, am I right? So you got seven Sabbaths. So if you got your calendar from the previous month, you count that last Sabbath. One, this is after the Feast of Unleavened Bread. This is after the 20th, this is after March 7th, all right? after March 7th okay so after March 7th you go you count that first Sabbath which would be on March 13th all right so that's Sabbath day one all right this right here will be Sabbath day two three four and five okay now next month so we still got to get two more Sabbaths right so I could add this in here but I don't want to confuse nobody but what you're going to do is, well, I'm going to explain it to you anyway. This would be five, to be six. And then if you had another calendar, this would be Sabbath day seven right here. And then count one more day. Boom. Right there will be your feast of weeks right here. It's very simple. That's why I will keep emphasizing, don't count your new moon days. The moon days are not Sabbath days. He says we want to count seven complete Sabbaths. Okay? So if you start on your if you start on the 13th of March, all right? If you start on 13th of March, and then you count there's one, and this one right here, 22nd is two, three, four, five. Down here, you come down to the 21st, there's six. And then you count again uh, from here, seven working days. So, I mean, six working days and come back to another seven. That's seven. Add one more day. Boom. That's your 50 days right there. That's your 50 days. So that's why I was so, that's why it's so important not to use, um, uh, not to count those moon days as Sabbath days. All right. I hope we understand that. 
So over here, this side right here, pretty much self-explanatory. I did a little bit of adjustment on, um, I, I, I put some coloring in on the, um, the uh, Yahoo's calendar. It was, it was just blank, like the days of, uh, of the week here. It was just, just the number. So I tried to lighten it up so make it easier to read. And everything over here is pretty much self-explanatory, okay? Um, uh, the Kings, you go find the, the month of Ziff in First Kings, chapter 6, verse 1. March in blue, you got the full moon. April's in yellow. And then you got the first month. This is what we were coming off for the first month. This was one day left over from the first month. And the second month is in black. And the third month, we saw it right here in gray. Okay. So everything is self-explanatory. Sometimes I have a little more than others on here. But since we don't have any special days or any special thing we have to do on for this month, I didn't add any more on the calendar as far as the, uh, you know, instructions and whatever all right family one more thing i'd like to go over before we go uh, i recommend that y'all please go to jubilees chapter six and read the whole chapter all right and especially the uh concentrate on i think it's it's uh the verse 30 through 32 but it tells you how many days and weeks makes up a year. And I can't see us having 364 days in a year if you add another whole month in there, right? I can't see it. But I'm going by scripture, one was read. I'm going by Yahoo's calendar. I'm okay. I'm going by his timepiece in the sky. I'm not going by a man made calendar when you're adding the 13th month. It is very dangerous. So go ahead and after this, just read uh, Jubilees chapter six, all right? And so that way you can get a better understanding of what I'm talking about. The 13th month, do away with it. It ain't, it ain't worth five cents. That 13th month paid it no attention at all, okay? But now for any other subject on this subject or any other, I uh, recommend that you go visit Brother David, a moray of Yasharal. He's a very good speaker. He speaks way better than I do. And he's well educated in a lot of subjects. And for the ladies, um, the sisters more or less, I'm sorry, for the for the sisters, um, you need to contact Sister Maya. Okay. You can contact her. You can contact her for a calendar. You can contact her for any questions that you have. This is her email address right there. You can use it anytime you feel like it. And I'm sure that she will take time to explain everything in detail if you have any questions. So I appreciate everybody to tuning in. And thank you so much for your time and patience with me. And Shalom.